application of PNPKI through LMS. Ihanda ang mga sumusunod, picture in passport size and signature in PDF format. Step 1. Open your browser and go to lms.deped.gov.ph. Hanapin sa itaas ang inyong region. For example, Region 11. Dito sa itaas, and Division of Tagum City. Next is sa mabilisan tayong way ng pag-login. Dito ako sa DepEd Common Teachers. But then, magsa-sign in ako gamit ng aking Google account. Yung my deped.gov.ph. Continue with Google account. Kasi, syempre, ito yung memorize natin. Then, let us sign in. Let's input our password. Okay, so I'm in. And pupunta tayo sa site home. Let's click site home. Susunod, piliin natin ang professional development. Under the professional development, we have two courses. Yan yung sa virtual in-service training at meron tayong dito sa PNPKI. Piliin natin itong course for the PNPKI Digital Certificate. Tapos makikita ninyo merong PNPKI Digital Certificate Applicant. So, my enrollment key na ibibigay ako sa mga taga SRES. So, ito yung enrollment key na galing sa ating Division ITO. Input lang natin. Then, we're in. After that, punta tayo sa ibaba. Okay, meron tayong makikita ng general information. So, andyan yung mga uh, video instruction for teachers, how to fill up your PNPKI, at iba pang tutorial video dyan. For example, this one. So, pwede nyo yung panoorin. Next step is, we need to download the PNPKI form. So, ito yung red. So, let us download this one. Then, pwede natin i-direction. Click yan. Magbubukas yan. Tapos, we can fill this out na, this form. Makikita niyo yung may mga red na box. Yan yung mga required. But, if you want to attach na your picture and signature, we need to download this one. Ito sa itas. Or, pwede naman doon na sa computer ninyo. Tingnan niyo sa download. At buksan niyo. Right click niyo lang. For example, this one, right-click, uh, open with Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat Reader. Okay, so let us first uh, attach the picture. Example, click natin yan, then browse. The picture ko is nasa D, local just D. Yung passport size na picture ninyo. This one, tapos open. And, yan. May picture na tayo. Then, kung mapapansin niyo sa form, yung mga red na box, ibig sabihin, those are, or these are the required uh, information na kailangan natin i-fill out. Yung mga blue, optional na lang din yun. So, let us input all the information or details in this form, lalo na dito sa mga red na boxes. Sa 4O, ang ilalagay natin ay ang Department of Education, Tagum City. And sa 4P naman ay yung Swaybagi Hurinia Elementary School or yung name ng school ninyo. Dito sa residential address, ay encode natin yung house number, barangay, province, landline number, at saka yung email address, yung ating DepEd email address. Then the street, municipality, zip code, and mobile number. Alternate email address is yung uh, Google, pwede yung Gmail account natin. Sa last part naman ng form, makikita natin yung date. I-encode nyo yung date kung kailan kayo nag-fill out ng form. Yung place, Tagum City for example. Name of applicant. Your... Then sa signature, i-click nyo yung may nakasulit na click here to attach your 
uh, signature in PDF format. Same process lang po, browse, tapos sanapin yung inyong signature na nakasave sa inyong computer. And click OK. Anyway, sa last part ng tutorial video na ito, ipapakita ko kung paano mag-convert ng inyong e-signature into PDF format. Kasi hindi tatanggapin yung JPEG kahit na yung sa PNG, hindi din siya tatanggapin. Okay, save na natin. Let's go to file, then save us. Sa file name, lagyan ninyo ng uh, inyong pangalan sa dulo. Tapos click save. Okay, next step, let's go back to activities and answer the PNPKI questionnaire. Ang nasa questionnaire na ito ay yung lahat ng information na inilagay natin doon sa ating PNPKI form. So, kailangan tugma yung mga details na nasa inyong form at saka yung isasagot ninyo sa questionnaire. Okay, so nasa questionnaire na tayo. Let's click attempt quiz now. So, let us now encode the information needed, last name, yung first name, yung lahat ng details doon sa ating form, middle name, at yung sa extension, kung wala naman, just put an A. Then, gender, then yung teen number ninyo. Other details are the residential address. Okay, encode lang po natin dyan. Uh, municipality, province, and others. And also your mobile number and email address. Next is, ayan na, lumabas na yung summary attempt. So, makikita ninyo na kompleto na natin yung 16 items. Tapos, scroll down tayo. And, we need to click this submit and finish. Okay, submit all and finish. This activity will validate the form you've submitted. So, ito na yung summary natin. That is my first attempt sa questionnaire na yun. Finished and submitted Friday the 13th. So, tapos na tayo sa PNPKI questionnaire. We can now upload yung ating form na na-fill upan. Okay, upload PNPKI form here. Click natin yan. Tapos, let us just follow the instruction. We can now upload our form. Follow na natin yung step. Tapos na tayo sa step 1. So, let's go on with step 2. Add submission. May makikita tayo sa ibaba. Okay. Let's click add submission. Okay. We have two ways to upload the file. Pwede dyan sa files. I-click nyo lang yung parang papel. Or you can drag and drop files here to add them. Dyan sa box. Let us upload the file. Click natin dito. Tapos, upload a file. Browse sa inyong computer. Kung nasaan yung file, choose file. Yung sa akin is nasa download. So, hahanapin ko lang sa download. Yung nilagyan nyo na ng name doon sa dulo. For example, this one to sa akin. So, i-click ko lang, then open. Tapos, sa save as, lagyan lang natin ng pangalan. For example, hmm, PNPKI application form. And then, click upload this file. Okay, and then uploaded na yung ating file. Then we need to click Save Changes. Okay. 
Ito yung submission status natin, attempt 1, submission status, submitted for grading. So, i-grade at i-check pa yan ng ating division ITO. Grading status, not graded yet. Then, yung file submission, and dyan na yung file natin. And we can now go back doon sa itaas sa ating PNPKA course. Check lang natin sa ibaba yung sa Division of Tagum City. Okay, may makikita tayo na topics prog progress is 50% na. Kasi is check pa yan and upon approval pa ng ating Division ITO. So after a few days, pwede na yung uh, maging 100%. So meaning approved na ng ating Division ITO. But then meron ding application na kailangang ulitin ng applicant kasi nga yung kanilang uh, permise hindi visible at saka yung kanilang picture hindi passport size yung iba selfie yung nilalagay so madidisapprove yung ganong picture Okay, since approved na yung application ko, ito yung makikita natin sa ating LMS interface Kung mapapansin ninyo, may dalawang check na ang ating questionnaire and up upload PNPKI form. At saka sa iba ba is makiklik na din natin yung certificate of completion. Download the certificate now. So, ito na yung certificate ko for this course. This time, i-convert na natin into PDF form yung ating mga e-signature. Kailangan mo lang picture na ng iyong perma at saka yung cam scanner app ang app na to ay madadownload mo lang sa uh, play store uh, ginagamit ko ang app na to dahil kailangang puting puti yung background ng ating perma bago natin siya i-convert sa pdf ok the demo ko sa inyo let's open our cam scanner app yan bubuksan lang natin yan close lang natin to nasa taas yung close button so, pipiturean na natin yung ating perma. This is not my official na signature. Tapos, pagka-picture ninyo, ayan, ikakrop nyo lang. Drag nyo lang yung mga uh, circles dyan sa gilid. Pagkatapos makrop, click nyo lang yung next. Tapos, automatic yan magbo, maglalighten up yung kanyang background. Yan. Tapos, click nyo lang itong check. Next is, isisave mo lang itong perma na ito sa inyong computer. Nasa computer na ako, magbubukas ako ng PowerPoint. Piliin natin itong blank presentation. Click natin ang design sa itaas. Tapos, slide size. Custom slide size. Palitan natin konti yung ating slide. I'll go for 5 by 5 inches. Tapos okay niya lang. Ensure fit. Next, let us insert our signature. Insert picture. This device. So, nasa download ko yun. Punta ako sa Download. Tapos yung picture ng aking perma. Okay. Then insert. Okay. So, ayan. Tapos na. So, kailangan lang nating i-save ito. Doon tayo sa file. Click file. Save us. This time, um, isi-save ko siya sa desktop. Para madali ko makita. Yung file name. For example, e-signature. Or e -seg. Tapos yung PowerPoint presentation, may drop down yan. Piliin natin yung PDF. Then click save. Ito na yung ating e-signature in PDF format. Try natin buksan yung ating PNPKI form. Tapos upload natin yung ating signature. Okay, scroll down tayo. Tapos ayan, click natin yan. Browse files, nasa, down, nasa desktop yung ating e-signature na PDF format. Desktop, and tingnan nyo sa iba ba, wala kasi images yung nakaset. So, change natin ito sa PDF. Okay, yan. So, open. 
Then, automatic. Lalabas yan. Then, click OK. Tapos, ayun. Uploaded na yung ating e-signature. So, yun lang po. Maraming salamat.